What's up everybody? How you guys doing? Cluxio back again and today we are playing the Stanley Parable and this time it's not the demo guys, it's the full game. I bought it just for you Cluxians and uh, I just want to get right into this game already looking crazy. Let me just fix uh, something. Uh, okay, so look at this thing. It's like freaking computerception. Look at on the computer on the right. You see like my mouse moving and everything moving inside the mouse, inside the screen. It's like screen deception. I don't know what's going on, but uh, let's get right into it. So we have started the game and uh, the end is never the end. Never the end is loading. Okay, so once again, I just want to thank you guys so much. This the Stanley Parable demo got over 174 likes. That is absolutely amazing. So uh, I just bought the game recently, and I wanted to share with you guys this fun experience. So I'm so excited to play this game with you. And uh, thanks guys for 4,000 subscribers. We had 4,300 last night, and I just can't wait to keep making videos with you guys and grow as a community as a whole. I'm looking forward to 2014. And uh, if you guys always like my videos. Videos. I know you always support it so make sure to drop a like and it always keeps me motivated to keep making more quality content for you guys uh, now I don't know why this is not take I don't know why it's not loading it's taking forever all right here this we go is the story of a man named finally Stanley. starting Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427 Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on the <laughs> desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, of every month, of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something dun, dun, dun. that would forever change Stanley. I'm something so excited he would to never play this game. Forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and okay, stepped we can out move. of his office. All right, can't pick that up. Oh, so this is where we left. All of his co-workers were gone. From the demo. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. This place is empty. Alright, let me just uh, turn on the subtitles for you guys. Sorry about that. Make sure we have that. Alright, here we go. I don't know what to expect. The demo was insane. So this guy's crazy and uh, past videos you guys told me to disobey him. So I'm going to disobey him. I'm not going to listen to this when guy. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, are we entering on the left? No, we're not. I just this juked you. This the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to <laughs> stop by the employee lounge first. I guess it's going to gonna be more uh, funnier if we don't listen to the guy. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, be rebellious. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed I always room. wanted a drink, Stanley but it Simply never worked. here, drinking it all in. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Okay, I am not taking this door on the left. I'm, I'm not, I'm being rebellious. Hell no. <laughs> I'm being crazy. 
not gonna listen to you. Do so not lie if you are lying right now. Stop. It's incredible. He wasn't five years ago. <laughs> this guy is getting bad. All right, what does this say? Okay. Do not jump from cargo. Look, Stanny, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot. Yeah, I don't want to die, so I'm just I'm not, not going to jump off this. Really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. But I want not to. not asking for me, I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. You can't tell your me what to do. To redeem yourself, to put your work aside, to let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Oh That's crap! Her, Stanley. What is you this? You need to be the one to do this, to reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. I'm scared of the phone. And like I said, we're being rebellious. I'm not answering the damn phone right now. I'm just gonna sit in this corner, not answer this phone. Let it keep ringing. Let's teabag it. Oh yeah. How do you like that phone? I'm gonna sit all the way in this dark corner here. I'm getting scared of this stupid phone. Oh, let's see if we could take this wire out. Oh, we could. We could take the plug out. <laughs> him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life reunited one. Wait. That's funny. Oh goodness, Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? Yep, that was me. What are you gonna no, that do? That wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <laughs> I am a real person. I'm Cluxio. So doing mistaken. it for Cluxians. why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And I like and to disobey you. you. Run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Choice. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer <laughs> radius of his Oh house. my god, that's awful. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. Six. If you find yourself speaking with doesn't a person who fish, does not make stupid. sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. Alright. <laughs> Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy okay. decision-making process. Most, 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 most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, what if you begin the hell to is going your choices on? are actually <laughs> meaningful, and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember, 
that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant. I'm a little star. And the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, welcome okay. back. Okay. You may have noticed that this room has begun what do we to have deteriorate here? as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Okay, so we gotta be a good boy now and uh, actually listen to him, I guess. But, uh, I don't know. I, I, f I feel like I still wanna be a badass and not listen to him. Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the Also, we could have jumped from this thing before. The story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. All right, open sesame. Why can't we open any doors? <laughs> Some blueprints. All right, we're going back, I guess, where we came from. This long hallway is scaring me. Something behind me. All right, good. <laughs> Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending. The story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as. Oh, so we're would. back that where we started. Responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead, and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered oh the my door God. on his left. Are we actually going to listen to him? Door on the left. Which one? Ah, uh, this is, uh, left or right, left or right. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay, let's go in here. Don't close on me, door. Don't close on me. Oh. Okay, it didn't close. We could actually go through the one on the right. Yes. It's not closing on me. Okay, we're just gonna... Whatever. Let's just go in here now. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Alright, so... What the hell? Get Chris out of the broom closet. Uh, complete today's unfinished agenda items. Alright, the only thing that's not m checked is get Chris out of the broom closet. Now, where is the broom closet? And I heard something about this by someone that you should go to the broom closet. Any more clues to this on the boards? Uh, looks like some crap written. Just some work stuff. Alright, where's this broom closet to speak of? Oh, broom closet. Right here. I can't open it. Why can't I open it? I want to go in the broom closet. Let me in. I can't open it, guys. Oh, well. Yep. <coughs> oh, bless me. Ugh. I can't go back in here again. Once the door closes behind you, it's closed forever. Stupid broom closet, I wanted to save Chris. Why isn't it working? Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Ooh la la, this room looks very nice. <laughs> Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley Weird was in pain disbelief scenes. who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Nightshark 115. 
Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? Night Shark 115. to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath. Okay, and Night Shark 115. Like, how is the game supposed to hear me? I don't have. I don't know. I don't have a mic plugged in my computer or anything. What the hell? <clears throat> Stanley Are we really supposed to code. speak into the game? Because I don't have any mic five. that's plugged in it into the receiver or a headset. Right there on the wall. He spoke it in the receiver right on the wall. Okay, I'm... Are you serious? Do I really <laughs> have to I'm say sorry, Night Shark 115? You didn't mishear me, did I want to obey you, Please but uh, the code into the receiver. this one I cannot Otherwise do, my friend. Can't get on with the story. This <laughs> I can't talk to the receiver. Step. Let me in, let me in. Okay, fine. Come on. You're not gonna do it, but you know Wow. What? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far. Only for you well, to I have no choice. decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to Alright, this guy's getting seriously. mad. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you Whoa. wanted over there. Why did you come this way? No Speak. need to raise your voice at me. me. Explain yourself, you coward. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. Oh, what the that hell happened? Means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. Why are we back right. here? <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open what doors, is going he on? entered the door <laughs> on his left. I did go on the left door and I couldn't speak into the damn no! freaking password that? thing. Okay. Now I'm just going to rebel on you, you stupid faggot. <laughs> Alright, whatever. I don't know. Let's just go through here. What the hell? What the heck? What's wrong with this office? Or hallway? Everything's messed up. Yeah, I can't go through there. Can't open this door. Alright, I guess I can't go there. So, we'll just have to take the one on the left here. And, uh... Oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you... What? My story! You've destroyed my work! Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, <laughs> it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to it's continue, still would there. it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. I have to. You won't do it. I bet you won't. Oh, shit! No! Yeah, she... Oh, my God. What's going on? I'm scared. I'm, I'm scared. I'm here. I don't I'm like dark here, rooms. Here in this pile of rubbish, with you, you, who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was this mine. This scary. You run it into the ground. What? Did you think that would be funny? You just had to see. Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you? You're a child. Oh, my story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard. Well, I just it. couldn't I put the so code hard. in simply. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. What? <laughs> now we're like spectating Hello? him. Hello? Are you 
Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I I need you to make a choice. We have like this bird's eye view over ourselves. Are you listening to me? What the hell? The end? Is this a joke? Is everything alright? <laughs> this is important. Are we serious here? Is so the game actually done already? It cannot exist without wow, you this game was so short. If this what is not a joke, just fine. They're both correct. You can't be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. I hope this Choose. is a joke. Do, do, do something. Anything. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this? Stanley, are you there? Okay. It's okay, I can wait. You need time to decide. These are the actual credits, so I guess this is not a joke, so the game's over. That's all right. That is weird. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. Alright guys, uh, game is over, so uh, I'll figure out what's going on here, and uh, I'll t see you guys on the next video, I guess. The game's already over, we saw the credits, and uh, until next time guys, I'll figure out what's going on here, and uh, peace guys. Thanks for watching.